show you what we're working on now. We got a water leak that's probably pumped out. Um, I'd say three to five hundred gallons of our thousand gallons of the tank. Just guess, guesstimating. But I've got to get this fixed now. Um, it's just uh, has to be done. So here, take a look. Okay, so this is the side of the trailer, and this is that little contraption I made with the little heat lamp in it to keep everything warm. Well, you can see right there, having water just spraying out. That brass, it's that brass, dug on brass piece that keeps breaking every time. All my PEX pieces, uh, they usually break there too, but um, you can see it clear as day right there. I don't know if I can make it any brighter or not, but yep. That right there is 500 gallons over a period of a couple of days. Okay, let me get to work on it. So I'm rehooking up the water system. Um, but then I'm going to take the hose and then run it back down into the cistern. So we can save a little bit of water that's left. Take some of the pressure off of it. Wait till that. I'll wait till that uh, drains, releases the pressure on that piece, and then I'll be able to come over and release this uh, this little uh, right angle valve and get that going. So pressure is being released. That should be slowing down pretty soon. Looks like it is getting there. Okay. So just that little leak right there, going down, wetting pretty much all of this area here, all the way up to about here, from this, this whole area down. And all of this is just soaked. So let's see where we're at now. Okay, I'm good to release. So let me get that pulled off. Go get that part. Yes. So this is the part that keeps failing. And again, I went to uh, Lowe's today, and this this is the only one that they had in stock. So this one it splits in the seams like you saw before. But this is it. It's about four and a half, five bucks. You want to have a few of these on hand, or I don't know if there's a version of that that's in steel or whatever. But I just this is. The least toxic version that doesn't leach into the system as much as any of the other ones. My uh, shark bite stayed fine. This one stayed fine. It's just the brass fitting, the one that goes bad. So, anyway. Okay, pressure is back on. Here's your new unit. It looks good. Um, on this amount of pressure that has to go in here, you have to use what's called pipe dope. And that is this product right here. So, um, pipe joint compound is what you have to use. I tried using uh, Teflon tape and everything on it. Every time I've used Teflon tape, it leaks. So, pipe dope is the only thing that's uh, really sealed it up. So, uh, I'm pretty happy with that. I don't see any leaks anywhere yet or anything. Nope. So, we still have a couple more cold days coming up this week. And uh, hopefully this uh, contraption with the light bulb and stuff that I have in it uh, 
is going to keep this area warm and not let it freeze again. So anyway, that's it for today.